Hey, what's up guys? This is Fabio Gallo and today I would like to find out what video marketing trends you need to be aware of in 2020 in order to better shape uh, your digital marketing strategy and deliver results. So let's crack on uh, today. So the rise of story, of Instagram story for instance, and the way in which people consume media have all contributed to making video always more important than ever before. Uh, meaning it pays to be aware of the video marketing trends for 2020. As you see from the slide, 83% of decision makers and marketeers believe that video is becoming increasingly important, which signals the start of more brands using them as part of the digital marketing strategy. So the rise of, for instance, Instagram story and the way in which people consume media have all contributed to making video more important than ever before, meaning it pays to be aware of the video marketing trend for 2020. As you can see from the slide, 83% of decision makers and marketers believe that video is becoming increasingly important, which signals the start of more brands using them as part of the digital marketing strategy. It's estimated uh, that people will spend more daily minutes watching video content over the next few years than ever before, uh, resulting in more advertisement spend, as you can see from, from the slide that I posted here. If you see from the slide, TV ad spending is going to slightly decrease in the next uh, few years, as well as, uh, on the contrary, the daily minutes spent watching online video is dramatically increased from 2019 to 2021, and the forecast for advertising spend on online video is dramatically increased from 45 billion US dollars to 61 billion US dollars. While this is great for those who produce video, it also shows uh, that soon you will have more competition in this area than ever before. Um, this means that basically it's vital that marketers stay ahead of competition in order to deliver the next big video type at the right time. So let's see what are the key trends for 2020. Let's start from the number one, personalization. Personalization is a huge buzzword right now and is something that marketers not only need to take seriously but also need to get right. 72% um, of consumers according to the last statistics, say that we not only engage with marketing messages that are personalized. And 60% sorry, of the marketer consider personalization to be a key strategy for improving quality of their leads. From the chart that you see on the left hand side, you can see that the primary strategy for generating higher quality leads are improving actually the personalization of marketing efforts improving the content and the content engagement, uh, the data management, the third-party lead sources, improving the lead quality metrics, so all about data then, and improving the data cleaning process. And last but not least, improving artificial intelligence and prediction technologies. So this is the big trend and in my opinion it should be considered the number one trend. Trend number two is data approach. As you are seeing across marketing as a world, a one-size-fits-all approach is no longer delivering. Uh, a data-first approach can ensure you are targeting the right audience and with the right messaging at the right time. This is why this approach is going to be applied more to video marketing 2020. So this approach gives brands a better understanding of what works when it comes to their video uh, including the best platform, who they need to target, and the content of their video. And at the end, this information can be hugely beneficial when it comes to return, improving you know, uh, your video marketing return on investment. As you can see from the chart on the left-hand side, you, you can see that the data-driven driven, the data -driven approach is, is extremely important for increasing the brand interest in, the product interest of the users to your product, the ad recall, and, but also, and not last, the purchase intent and the consideration of your brand. So the data-driven approach isn't about reducing the creativity of your marketing efforts. It just helps to provide focus 
such as audience segmentation and personalization. And as James Bryant of Skeleton Production says, the number of targeting options available on Google, Facebook, Twitter are screaming out to be used in line with a creative approach, whether it's creating content for a specific target audience or looking to capture at different stages of the buying cycle. The trend number three is the long form video. So we, we all have heard repeatedly that human attention span is shrinking and is now shorter than you know other other kind of sources. Even for a study disapproved this fact a few years ago, this has resulted in many, many marketing falling back on short video formats in a bit to inspire greater engagement, but this looks to set to change in 2020. So while there is no denying that shorter videos are easy to, to consume, especially on the go and via social media, they fail to allow brands to form the emotional connection that makes them memorable to consumers. So in 2017, so two years ago, around 80% of videos were under five minutes in length. However, these short videos tended to drive less than a third of overall engagement in video content. In comparison, videos that were 15 minutes or longer result in 50% of audience engagement, as you can see from the left, right and side chart. So these statistics combine with the fact that the average user will spend 80-80% more time on a website with video content goes to show that long-form videos can help keep people interested in your message and your brand. Long-form videos enable also you to tell your story that can make you memorable as well as educate your audience. So for me is really the trend number three. Trend number four is the 360 degree videos. So smart devices and VR and set such as the Oculus Rift are making 360 degrees now uh, more accessible. As a result of it, people are more likely to view 360 degrees video and the same video in a traditional format. So this sort of video also drive a higher purchasing intent. According to the last statistics, 7% more. Uh, while simultaneously helping brand stand out from the crowd as they result in 12% more in um, engagement. This means that 360 degrees videos can help deliver greater ROI than traditional video formats and increasing at the same time the brand awareness and engagement. You see the picture on the right hand side uh, is about, it's about a 360 degree video uh, that was used by KitKat that basically use it as a format to showcase its mocha, its mocha chocolate bar and the YouTube campaign resulted in a competition rate that was more than double the average on the video platform. It also managed to deliver an impressive 35% increase in consideration and a 100% rise in advertisement recall, so basically ad retargeting Trend number five, integration across the funnel. This is one of my favorite indeed, uh, considering that the fact that video is a powerful content type when it comes to encouraging certain behavior in your audience. It's surprising that many marketers are still viewing it as, as, as a niche to have tool rather than a necessity. So this means that many strategies are currently failing to make video work as hard as they could be. This is why in 2020, in my opinion, brands are more likely to start integrating video across their entire marketing funnels. I'm not talking just about B2B strategy, but instead also in B2C. As video is such a hardworking form of content, using them as a different stage of your marketing funnel and across different channels can help make the consumer's journey smoother and shorter. So, According to the last statistics, 72% of people prefer to learn about a company via video rather than, than a text. This is a dramatic, a dramatic figure, in my opinion. And videos at the brand awareness stage can help drive people to your website 
with 53% of consumers engaging with the brand after viewing one of their video on social media. But it's not just that, it's also how the beneficial from the nurturing stage, so the stage in which you need to educate and nurture the users, especially within the emails, as they can help to increase the click-through rate by up to 300%. So, final thoughts here, videos offer consumer content that can be quickly and easily digested across a higher number of channels. From B2C and B2C perspective, they are effective at answering questions and giving you information and creating relationships, making them a must-have for your digital marketing strategy. However, it's no longer enough to simply create like a short video for social media. Yeah, you, need, you need, really need to ensure that you are using video across your marketing funnel as well as making use of the latest video formats and techniques in order to remain competitive. And finally, it's worth noting that while previously companies have struggled with the cost of creating video, now that they are becoming such a popular content type, they are more accessible from brands than ever before. This ultimately means that failing to utilize videos could leave you far behind your competitors. So my suggestion is take into consideration the five key trends and make sure that your digital marketing strategy and your business strategy will be aligned to it. So if you want to know more, you can go to my website or just uh, drop me a message by email. See you soon. Bye.